It is the third model introduced in the 2024 Ori Meta Contest winners, sporting the theme of Takiyasha the Witch and the Skeletal Spectre. It is TKY0 Takiyasha Hime. With a kit of Curse Shot, Panic, Meteor, Tank Legs, and the Leg Ability of Hostility, which buffs all Leg Stats, minus Armor and Heavy Limit, upon being attacked a certain number of times. Now, when it comes to the Ori Meta Contest winners, I'm not gonna lie, Taki Yashihime probably takes the win when it comes to the aesthetic design and makes it abundantly clear that the that you can make all the stand user jokes you want and still have some very powerful assets to be had on the team anytime that she's on the field. Curse Shot on the head part is a shooting base skill that upon attacking the target and breaking a part prohibits that particular part from being healed a certain number of turns. The drawback, however, to Curse Shot is it cannot be spammed repeatedly, which means if you want to make use of it, you are going to have to stagger its use, such as, say, using it on turn 1, use something else on turn 2, and then come back on turn 3 to repeat Curse Shot on another enemy or even the same one if you didn't inflict it the first time. Given, though, that it is also a healing, uh, a ailment-based uh, condition, it does also mean it could also be subject to anyone using Stat Cleanse to remove it. Panic on the right arm is a shooting base skill that serves as a two-fold conditional ailment and serves one of two ways depending on how they attack the enemy. If the enemy attack is hit in their heat phase where they are running to the line, Panic works like slip while it will force them to turn the other direction and basically cancel their entire next action and, make, and basically buy you a free turn. However, if you attack the foe in cooldown instead, it will inversely act as Metaphor Seal, which will prevent the enemy from being able to unleash any Metaphors whatsoever, and going further, it will also prevent any Meta Change capable targets from being able to even transform at all, as long as the ailment remains in effect. Giving Takiyasha Hime a very solid round in crowd control and Metaphor Suppression, depending on if she's able to time it correctly. Meteor on the left arm in her more primary form of actual combat while on the field is a shooting base uh, gunpowder base skill that upon attacking the target will inflict the user with a damage over time effect essentially as an overload um, an overload of the arm to basically overheat Takiyashi Hime herself. However, the benefit is that while attacked while with while inflicted with that damage over time, Meteor gains a times 1.5 damage bonus as long as the ailment remains intact. So after that first use, your damage will be going up considerably more as long as you can keep the ailment. So naturally, anyone that has stat cleanse on the on your allied side, Takiyashihime may not particularly appreciate as an ally and actually prefer to keep that as long as possible. Plus, given that she is tank leg, it means that she does have the damage reduction to be able to keep herself alive longer than normal, and the only healing that she would really want is just anyone that can top off her HP more than removing ailments. Tank legs does mean that while she will be suffering in the mobility department and the complete inability to dodge, it does mean that she is packing some very impressive damage reduction, both from a passive of having the tank legs at, at a free stackable 30%, but on top of that, the damage reduction on the legs also is very solid as well. With a mobility of 636, essentially she's in that sweet spot for where tank legs tend to want to sit, so I'm not really going to dock her too heavily for that, but in a game of speed, she will unfortunately be tailing behind. But, depending on the particular timing and juggling, this can be used to her advantage fairly easily if you are able to tank it. Now, when it comes to tanking, she is packing about 1388 for her me for her melee resist and 2126 for her shooting resist, so she can most certainly stand her own at light at range with anyone trying to take pot shots at her. And even up close and personal, she has some pretty solid damage reduction as well. In the armor department, she's packing about 4500 for the head, about 3900 for the right arm, just shy of over 4000 for the left and 4,800 for the legs, so definitely a very healthy HP pool there as well. And, given the fact that she is tank leg, it does mean that she is triple heavy with equally triple heavy support, and the leg ability of hostility is a really nice touch as well, as it means that every time that Takayashi Hime is attacked, all of her leg stats, her resist stats, and her mobility 
minus, of course, evade, since that's kind of non-existent on tank legs, will be going up progressively up to, up to about five stacks every time she's attacked. And given that she does have some pretty solid damage reduction, means that she's going to be able to tank some pretty solid hits before anything starts breaking which means she will be progressively going faster and become harder to t uh, harder to break because her damage reduction and her speed goes up every time she's hit. All this being said though, as a pure set score, I still do have to rate Taki Yashihime a pretty solid 7 out of 10 across the board. While she is kind of conditionally niche, depending on how you choose to use her between Curse Shot and Panic, it is going to be really hard to juggle those particular effects when using her on the team. Curse Shot for being able to temporarily ban or prohibit any kind of healing to that particular target. Uh, panic for the slip or the metaphor seal, depending on how you depending on when you attack the target. Meteor is going to be her primary form of damage more than anything else. But she does have the damage reduction and the armor to be able to tank it decently well as long as she can remain covered. And even in the points where she can't, her damage reduction is high enough that she can tank one or two hits without going down decently quick. Her synergy is kind of there but it's also kind of not but she is like i said going to be a very conditional fighter so don't expect a lot of very high uh, high damage output or any kind of overall absurd speed from her because she's not designed to be fast or absurdly powerful but more of a aggressive um more of an aggressive interrupter i guess if that makes any sense and the leg ability of hostility will also serve as a nice touch like i said to allow her to go progressively faster even if just by a little bit and higher and much more likely to tank incoming blows a lot more efficiently the more times that she's attacked without anything breaking. As mixed parts, I do have to rate her equally at a 7 out of 10 as well for these same reasons. Curse Shot, Panic, and Meteor can be very powerful skills that can be used exceptionally easily, especially on female teams, and Tank Legs with Hostility is also a very nice touch as well for any modifiers where Tank Legs are required. So you can use any of these skills in any combination fairly well, but it is going to be worth noting that they are all fairly conditional to a point, and it is also worth noting that while Taki Yashihime herself is triple heavy, she is also equally weak to anyone that is using Gravity Punish, such as, say, uh, Break, Break Hammer, Break Rush, or anything of the like. But if you're looking for a model that can basically make anyone on the female team seem like they're a stand user, you really don't have to look much further than Taki Yashihime and the, and the Skeletal Spectre.